welcome back to another episode review from Grease Rise of the Pink Ladies. We are on the third episode now, which is called, so this is Rydell, and this is titled that way because now there's a new girl coming to Rydell High. Her name is Hazel. She's a black girl, which on one hand I was just like, oh, is this when we're going full woke? But no, no, I don't think so. At least not yet, but all right. So far she seems cool. She seems fine, <laughs> but not gonna lie, I'm like, I have been so sus of this show the whole time, expecting it to just go full blast any moment now, but this episode in general does feel like it's inching more in that direction, but no, she is transferred there from somewhere else, and she just is not feeling right up. <laughs> she doesn't like it here, she doesn't like the people there, doesn't like anything about it, can't say as I blame her, but Jane feels for her because the year before she was the new kid at Rydell, so she gets it, but um, yeah, that's her whole thing. She otherwise basically just stays pretty quiet for the most part, kind of just blending into the scenery, so she's fine. Um, but now, there's a whole thing where... Somebody has taken interest in the whole debate between Buddy and Jane for the student council thing, and now he wants to televise it, because no pressure or anything, right? Yeah, now Buddy has promised the student body that if he wins, they'll hold the school dance at the country club. Jane, meaning well, decides she's going to get it even cheaper, because she's savvy that way, and thinks she can do an even better job with this. Now, this is where Hazel points out to her that you're not really doing anything different than Buddy is, because the same people you'd be appealing to for this are the same people he's appealing to for that. While the whole rest of the year, a third of us that go here wouldn't even be allowed into that country club. And she has a point. So because of that, Hey, or, uh, Jane starts really thinking through, okay, so how could I do this better? Well, if we just hold the dance in the gym, we can save a whole bunch of money on that, and then use that money towards getting, like, a really cool DJ, not playing stuffy old people music, playing rock and roll stuff, but, like, the whole student body would enjoy. Okay, that might get people more interested. And this is all sounding very promising. People are all behind her for this one and everything. She has pins made up. She's handing them out left and right. This is where Buddy tries to one-up her and starts throwing out candy instead of pins. Because, oh, under him, if he wins, life will be sweet. Oh my god, it's so lame. Anyway. Yeah. So. She goes. She does the debate. And on TV, she just freezes up and chokes. So everybody just takes it as he won, and she has nothing to say for herself. Great. Nobody's in her corner anymore. Except Hazel. Hazel still believes in her, which is cool. But now Jane's trying to figure out, is there any salvaging this, or should I just fail and give up now? The main thing that made her choke on this was when she toured the country club, because since she'd made that phone call, well, still gotta at least go tour it. She didn't like the way that seemingly everyone there that was a member, straight white male. And all of the workers there, all the staff, all Hispanic. Let us not forget, her mom is Puerto Rican. And they make a big deal out of saying how, how progressive we are. I mean, just five years ago, we started letting Italians in. Oh, my blood boiled with that just... If there is anything that you'll get under my skin quickly, it's that mispronunciation of Italian, seeing as I am. It's just like, <laughs> Let me just leap through the skin and ring your... And through the screen and ring your back. Oh, my God. It happens multiple times throughout the episode. Just stop. But anyway. Yeah, there's a whole song and dance number. Really just... Exemplifying how much they are just straight white males in this club and yeah don't even bother if you're jewish gay single woman black brown asian like they go into the whole nine yards and it wasn't lost on me there's one little bit where they hold their napkins on their heads and it kind of looks like certain type of white hoods it's like oh okay that's where we're going with this oh, that's uncomfy yeah i don't blame her for freezing up okay that's 
not all right. Oh my god, I'm surprised they got away with doing that. But on the other hand, it also means there's the spoken, or unspoken, like, tone throughout it of fuck straight white men, as most woke shit has gone these days. I'm like, I'm so tired. I'm so tired of this. But on the other hand, in this particular instance, and the point they're trying to make, they're technically not wrong. I can't be too mad at it because they're right. Yeah, all the minorities would not be allowed in that club back then. And sh for her to have issue with- yeah, they're technically not wrong on this one. The only thing that I'm taking issue with is how hard they're doubling down on the social justice thing, and it's the- Fifties. That was not a thing until the sixties. And just the historical nerd in me is just like I wanna scream, but anyway. Like I said, I can only be so mad at the woke thing in this particular episode because of the fact that they're not wrong. They're not wrong this time. It's just their approach of how they're doing it. I'm like you could have made the same point without having to do it in a fuck white people kind of way. But anyway, just saying, just saying, um, I'm just over the whole woke thing, but regardless. So there's a point where Jane ends up at Richie's house and I'm starting to wonder, is he supposed to be like Richie Valens? Question mark? Or are we just using the name because it sounds like a vaguely 50s name because of that? This just connected in my brain. I'm like, oh god, is that what we're doing here? Oh no, don't let it be him because if she falls for him, oh no, she's going to be broken in like a minute here. Oh, don't do that to her. Oh god. But anyway, ends up at a party at his house. She really just wants to discuss this whole thing of her campaign and is there any way to save it. Meanwhile, he has other ideas. Wants to dance, wants to make out, which they do. As you do. Meanwhile, in the background, Cynthia and... I'm still blanking on the Asian girl's name. I want to say it's... It's not Sandy. That's from the other Grease. Damn it. Why can I never remember her name? But anyway, the two of them get into a bottle of mezcal. And I'm thinking, okay, given how the Asian one had the song the last episode about In a World Without Boys, and given that Cynthia's like the tomboy, I'm like, am I reading too much into things, thinking that they're priming it for these two to, like, develop into a thing? Maybe. Because that's the vibe I'm getting out. I was half expecting, okay, so they're gonna get drunk and kiss, right? But they didn't. They just got drunk, whatever. But I'm like, mm, you're, you're greasing the tracks. I, I'm getting a vibe here. I can't be the only one getting a vibe here, right? There's no issue with it. I just, I feel like this is what it's leading up to, and I see it, like, a mile away, and it's really obvious, but maybe not. I don't know. I could be reading too much into it. But yeah, so, I think, I think it's, Hazel, who ends up talking to Buddy about her feelings about this whole thing, about how shitty Rydell is, and about how she saw him make a fool of himself. It gets really blur- I don't know. This is the thing about how much this show is already losing my interest that by the end of the episode, I'm already feeling like, so what did I just watch? Can I even summarize it? Parts of it I can, but part of it I'm like, I think I mentally already just checked out. But I want to say, like, he's seeing her point and agreeing that she's right in all her feelings about things at Rydell. So maybe we're about to turn a corner with him. I don't know. But again, just for how quickly I am losing interest and we're only on episode 3 of 10. That's not a good sign. I don't know that I'm going to hang with it for the whole 10, but I don't know. This episode is like, I'm getting really annoyed by the undertones in it could have something to do with why I'm just mentally checking out, but on the other hand, I am still kind of intrigued to see where it goes, to see if maybe they don't go full woke, because as long as they don't go full woke, okay, I can hang with it, but um, I just, I want to see where is this leading to, because if it is literally just turning into every other show on the damn planet with that thing, then why are we even making this? 
There is no point. None. But, like, especially for something set in the 50s, this feels like just historical virtue signaling fantasy porn is what it feels like so far. I don't know, like, they're not really making the points that they're trying to make, I don't think. It's just getting lost in translation. Once again, with the music not fitting the damn times, it just once again, it doesn't even feel like Lee anymore. No, no, I'm gonna go a step further. It feels like if Hannah Montana made music that was trying to sound vaguely 50s-ish, but not even really hitting that mark, yeah, that's what it's sounding like now. I'm like, what is this? What is this pile of hot flaming dog shit? I just, I am not feeling it currently. Maybe I'll come back around. Like I said, I did like the first episode. They had already lost me by the second. This one, they've lost me even further, but I still... <laughs> I also feel invested enough to want to see where it's going. I hate that I'm like this. I hate that my brain needs closure on shit like this, where I'm like, yeah, well, I started watching it, but now I have to see how it ends. So... I don't know. I don't know, guys. It just... Mm, the whole thing gives me a headache. The whole thing makes me want to take a nap. I don't know. But yeah, I'm not even giving it a number. I just... I'm still saying I wouldn't waste your time with it. It's just... It's not anything like Grease. It's just... It's another generic high school... I don't even know if I should say drama because it doesn't even feel that dramatic. All the dramas in it are so just... Not even dramas. Oh, that was one more thing that happened in the episode. So, okay, so Cynthia has to, like, go to drama class now as part of her punishment for, like, the whole events of the end of the first episode, right? So, she's supposed to help lead the class, given she's such an expert actress, according to the principal. Yeah, she is not taking it seriously at fucking all. And now they all laughed at her, and she is pissed off that they laughed at her. So, because they all laughed at her, while she and the Asian girl are drunk, the Asian girl tells her, well, maybe instead of being a laughing stop, maybe you should laugh with them. So she goes back and she decides to finally take it more seriously now, and now they're all, oh my god, that was the most ex inspired acting I've ever seen! It's like, no, it's not, but whatever. I mean, it was a lot better than it was before, but bro, I'm sorry, you could have given that performance and you're not going to get the reaction that they just displayed. I'm sorry. Ain't no drama class on the fucking planet where you're going to get that reaction for that performance. It wasn't that great. I mean, it was good, but it wasn't that great to where, oh my god, we're like crying. She's supposed to be a Martian interacting with a chair the first time. Like, bro, calm the fuck down. <sighs> but yeah, that was like a whole other like sub B plot throughout the episode. Like I said, completely forgot about it till like almost the end of this video. And so far, she's my favorite of the girls in this show. And I still forgot about it, because it just, it's not that memorable. The show isn't that good. And I hate that it's not that good, because it's in the Grease franchise. I want to like it. It just isn't happening so far. So I don't know. Maybe I'll pick up. I don't know. I'm not holding my breath at this point. I, I just, I don't see it happening Maybe it'll surprise me, but so far I have yet to be surprised, so. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the third episode, so we'll see where it goes with the fourth. Hopefully something better. <laughs> so, anyway, that's it for this one, guys. So, as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddits, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you'd like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, until next time, see ya.